The Spans and Supports tab is where you can specify the lengths of the span between supports and what is supporting the member. In this video, you'll learn about the information you can enter on this tab. Select the member graphic pin to display a picture of the current member. Select the pin again to hide the graphic and save valuable space. See your changes to the member and confirm your input using this graphic. The member graphic is available on multiple tabs. Enter the length of each span along with left or right overhangs in this grid. As you add spans, the support grid will update with the correct number of supports. Update support information in this grid. Specify the length, the location, the type, material, and accessory of the support. If the support is flush, you can also specify connector properties. You can also change where the dimensions are measured from. Custom will allow you to specify the dimension location for each support. And finally, you can specify the bracing for the member in this grid. Pick the type of bracing to set predefined bracing intervals, or pick custom to enter a length interval yourself. The specified bracing interval is used to provide a more detailed design, except for TJI joists, which always use the maximum allowable bracing. If these spans and support settings are common to your business, you can save them as the default. For members, ForteWeb saves the defaults for each member type, so new members of the same type get created with these selections. You'll see this button on multiple tabs. Saving defaults can save you time by setting up your jobs, levels, or members the way you want them. If you ever need to reset these defaults, go to Settings and click Reset All Job Defaults. If you need more information about the Spans and Supports tab, launch help or chat with someone on the support team.